Okay. Um, you can't see my screen, right? Uh, so this session is going to be uh, an introduction about uh, minutes and uh, plan of action and how we can uh, develop them. So uh, if if there is any question, make sure to raise your up uh, to raise your hand or uh, just open your mic and speak up. Okay. Um, so uh, let's start with. Uh, uh, the importance of uh, meeting minutes just to have uh, an introduction about it. So uh, they, the minutes uh, provide are can, or can be considered as uh, official records of the discussions or the decisions that were made uh, on the meeting. So it provides us uh, official records of these discussions and uh, decisions. Um, so they improve accountability and uh, it also improves uh, follow through. So if you want to check up on uh, the decision that, that were made on the meeting, uh, these minutes uh, can help and they can also help uh, in tracking actions and responsibilities. Uh, they, uh, they can be uh, looked at as uh, guides of actions and responsibilities just to guide us of to guide us or to show us who is responsible and uh, what needs to be done. Uh, it also facilitates communication for those who didn't attend. So it's, it will help actually for both the attendees and the people who are absent in the meeting. So they can just go through these minutes and uh, yeah, know, uh, have an idea of about uh, what was di discussed. And uh, it serves as a reference point uh, for future actions as well. So the key components of uh, meeting minutes are, um, so the basics are, uh, we, all, we should always include the date, the time, the location, and the attendance or the attendees. Um, and uh, the agenda uh, or the reason why that meeting was held uh, and the items discussed need to be included as well and the key points and discussions made about uh, during the me meeting and uh, action items are actually uh, who got assigned to what uh, to what item or task and when is the deadline and the next or future plans or the next steps to be taken are also included in the meeting minutes. So uh, some of the tips of, uh, for taking effective minutes are uh, to, record the, uh, to record details such as notes and notes at the time and that in this like uh, we have discussed earlier and to be clear, concise uh, and objective. Uh, focus on the key points and decision. You don't need to write uh, everything that was discussed. And to use bullet points and action item for formats, so like tasks and what, what were uh, discussed, what was decided and who got assigned and when is the deadline, just as uh, the format that we gave you. And uh, summarize the discussions, uh, like uh, capture the main points of the discussions and the decisions, and clearly document these action items, like the who, where, and what, uh, responsible individual, and the deadlines, uh, and capture the next steps and deadlines. Like I think th this one is also indicated on the the upper one, but yeah. Uh, so that's about um, uh, developing uh, minutes, meeting minutes. And as for the part uh, about developing a plan of action, so the first task is going to be identifying the task. So we already have a structured uh, meeting minute that was extracted from the, trans uh, the transcript, right? Uh, so what you're going to do next is 
identify the tasks. So from the uh, meeting minutes that you have rather written, you need to, uh, to extract actionable tasks. And you need to assign the specific individual or the one who is responsible for those tasks uh, when planning or de developing the plan action, plan of action. And then, uh, like the first one was the what, and the second one was the who, and the last one is the when, right? So the when is going to be setting clear deadlines. So you're going to uh, be mentioning or uh, assigning a clear deadline for each task uh, that is also already assigned for the individuals. So when uh, creating or developing a plan of action, you need to uh, make sure that the plans or the tasks are smart oriented or uh, like S stands for specific, it needs to be specific, it needs to be measurable, it needs to be achievable, it needs to be relevant, and it needs to be time bound. So uh, like you need to specify, uh, it doesn't need to be in generic form or it doesn't need to be uh, too wide. So it needs to be specific, the task, and you need to be able to measure it uh, when the task is done or it's not done or it's halfway there. And it needs to be achievable, uh, especially during the time that's given. So it needs to be time bound. Uh, me meaning it's there needs to be a, a deadline when you are assigning the tasks or say, say, uh, setting the goals and it needs to be relevant to the overall uh, image or picture and uh, the last one is uh, establishing communication channels so how will progress be tracked uh, so you need to track the progress uh, that's being done so you, you, you need to know uh, at what stage the task is already at and what's, uh, what is left and what, is, uh, what, have, uh, what ha has been done. So uh, there are, uh, you can find many uh, tools for creating plan of actions. Uh, like there are pro uh, PM, uh, project ma management softwares like Trello that uh, you're going to be using for this week. And Asana is another one. You can also use spreadsheets, uh, whiteboards, Notion, as we have seen uh, on earlier weeks, and so on. But for this week, we're going to be using uh, Trello. It's a famous project ma ma management tool software, and uh, you're going to be working on that one. So. <clears throat> Uh, that's it for the uh, introduction. Are there any questions? Questions, guys? Um, just for uh, the update, so the notion has been updated and uh, it has been posted on Slack, so make sure to check it out. Yes, Terry, you can go. Okay, mine is a clarification from what we had discussed uh, during our stand-up session today. Uh, so I had somebody mention that Asana can be an alternative to Agile. Is that true? Um, it might be, but uh, Asana, we are not going to be using Asana. I'm not, I'm not that much uh, familiar with that framework, but uh, so I can't really answer that question right now. But if you, if you want, I can go through it today. And yeah, we can discuss about it tomorrow. Uh, sorry. Yeah, it's a tre tre trello, not Asana. Sorry, I meant trello, me? not Asana. I meant the other one, trello, not Asana. Sorry. 
Okay, okay, oh, let me rephrase okay. So you want uh, a co comparison okay. between Trello and Agile? Um, so uh, Agile is a framework, right? So a Trello is just, uh, it's not an alternative to Agile. So Agile is just a methodology, right? It's a way of working, like, like it's like uh, it's more focused on flexibility, attractive development, and so on, right? But Trello is just a tool, so they're not in the same uh, category to begin with. Uh, so uh, I don't know if I understand your question, but uh, you can't actually compare the two because they are not um, from the same uh, tools or background. So Agile is just a methodology. It just uh, have a, a way of working uh, flexibly, uh, like iterative de development, like continuous improvement and so on, right? But Trello is just for, it's just a tool, like a project ma management tool that's used uh, widely but uh, like Prelo can be used uh, to support agile processes so it's a tool but uh, this tool can be used for agile methodologies so uh, okay is that clear okay Okay, another question, please. Questions? Or is it clear? Is everything clear? King Gittari, um, okay, so uh, if there are no questions, yes, uh, Mazia, you can go. Yes, uh, thanks, uh, I, I came late, uh, so uh, I wasn't able to follow, I'm not sure if you can do a, a short recap touching on two or three points, uh, if that's okay with you. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so what we did was um, just go through uh, the importance of meeting minutes and how they can be used uh, just as uh, an official record for the discussion and the decision and they can be used uh, to communicate for those people who didn't attend and they actually uh, can be used to track actions and possibilities and give and uh, just give accountability to the people that were there or uh, that were assigned tasks and the key com components of a uh, minute. Um, like the basics are just the date, time, and location, and attendees or the attendance, um, the agenda, or why the, the reason that the meeting was called, uh, like, and the key points in the decision made and action items are who uh, who got assigned uh, and what uh, what is actually the task and when is the timeline or the deadline and the next steps are the future plans so yeah so uh, to take an effective minute you need to record the basics like we have discussed earlier and be clear, concise, and objective. Uh, just focus on the key points, not the whole. Uh, you don't need to include the whole thing. So when you are writing the minute, uh, make sure just to include the key points and use bullet points uh, and action items like 
transaction item for formats are, uh, what is assigned, who's assigned, uh, no, uh, what is the task, who's assigned, and when is the deadline. Just make sure to follow this format and uh, summarize the discussions, like just uh, capture the essence or the main points of the discussions and the decisions and do document this uh, discussions and decisions clearly and yeah the, the, this one is the future uh, plans and the next uh, point or sub plan or sub uh, task was uh, creating a plan of action so uh, to develop a plan of action you need to identify the task so you have the you hide the transcript right the first thing that we, we gave is just the transcript of the meeting. So from that transcript, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be creating the uh, minutes, the meeting minutes, and from that, you're gonna extract the action tasks. So this is going to be the what, and you're gonna assign responsibilities or uh, accountabilities, just like uh, you're gonna assign individuals. So this is going to be the who. And uh, lastly, you're going to be setting uh, deadlines. This is going to be the win. So these three are the actionable. Uh, so just the format that we have discussed earlier, and you're, you're going to be using Trello for this task. So when you are uh, creating, uh, like identifying the tasks, assigning responsibilities, and uh, creating or setting the deadlines, you need to make sure that they are smart, uh, so smart stands for specific. The tasks need, need, need to be specific, and the, the individual that's uh, going to be assigned to that uh, task needs to be identified, measurable. You need to be able to me measure the task when it is already started, in the halfway there, and when it's uh, um, like done. It needs to be achievable in the uh, given uh, like uh, deadline or time bound, and it needs to be re relevant. And you need to come up with a strategy uh, in order to just track the progress. So you need to establish an, uh, an effective uh, communication channels. So yeah, that was just what we have discussed. Um, so the project tools, uh, the famous one is uh, Trello, and the other one is uh, Asana, Asana, and you can also use spreadsheets and whiteboards for this purpose. But for this week, uh, you're going to be using Trello, and you're going to be having an, uh, a session uh, tomorrow, I, I believe in the morning or in the afternoon, but you can check the notion for this. Uh, yeah. So that's a quick recap. Uh, do you have, still have a question or? Oh, oh uh, thanks, yeah. thanks, thanks very much. Uh, that was uh, that was really helpful. Uh, one last more question. Uh, uh, are these slides shared or are you gonna share them with us? Yes, uh, so the slides are going to be shared after the session. So make sure to, okay, to check the Drive, yeah, okay. Okay. So okay. any other Any questions? So, okay. you're welcome. Um, uh, so the roof, the roof file asked in the chat box, uh, can we use a given format for task one? And uh, we submit based on the, the format. So uh, I'm not sure which uh, format are you talking about? Are you talking about the format for the minute? If that's it, uh, yeah. So you need you can just edit that. You make sure to copy it and then uh, just uh, follow that format and edit it. You, you you can edit it in place. If that's what you you were referring to, of course. If not, uh, make sure to write. Okay. Okay. So any other questions, please. Yes, Mazia, and then Yeshi. Okay, Yeshi, you can go. You know, 
Good afternoon, yes. everyone. Uh, I, uh, I was reading uh, tax one based on the provided document. So when okay. I see about task one, uh, it says translate text uh, from French. Uh, he say, yes. uh, said um, yes. there are a lot of paragraphs, maybe more than five paragraphs. So we have to translate all of them to English and uh, we have to submit all translated documents uh, when we submit our assignment. And also, can you use uh, Terilo uh, to translate this uh, text from French to English or to which language uh, we have to translate? I'm not understanding well, that's why I'm asking. Okay, uh, okay. So, uh, so uh, you need to translate uh, it from French into English and you can use ChatGPT for this and it's a good uh, tool to translate. Uh, so I think uh, everyone has uh, started working with uh, ChatGPT 4.0. Uh, so it's already free and it's already out. So uh, it's a better uh, tool to translate for translating. So you can use that uh, chat GPT uh, just to translate it into English and then uh, for the Wednesday variables you're, you're gonna just be uh, uh, submitting the minutes the minute the meeting minutes but you have to uh, like translate it into English first Okay, I understand. So we cannot able to submit all those uh, uh, translated uh, text while we submit the final uh, interim submission, right? The final interim submission or the final Anything or the interim okay. submission? No, uh, all uh, the question I'm asking is tax one. That means uh, we will submit on interim submission. So we just yes. translate for ourselves to do that, that uh, meeting uh, meeting meeting minute but minutes, we cannot yeah. submit all translated documents to the final submission right i think uh, to the final submission you mean the, to the interim submission right no no to the interim submission we cannot uh, yes. submit uh, you all don't need, need to submit text. yes you don't need to so even, even you just for need, final need to minute, Yes, uh, no, the, you just need to submit the uh, slides and the Trello link for the final one. And for the interim one, you just need to submit uh, the meeting minutes. But in order to have, uh, in order to write the uh, correct meeting minute, you need to translate it. But you, you're gonna keep the translated one. We don't need that thread. Just uh, good for, uh, for our set, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, Mazia, you can go. Uh, sorry, I don't know why my hand okay. is still up, okay. but uh, yeah, I, uh, here is it when I was asking the first question. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah, so okay. I'm sorted. Yeah. I'm okay. Um. Thank so you. any other questions? Okay. 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 So uh, for the rest, uh, are there any questions, or should we wrap up uh, wrap up this session? If everything is clear, show me thumbs up. Okay, two people understood, but what, what our there is. Okay. Um, okay, Abdulaziz, uh, I will ma make sure to forward it to the team.
Okay, let me just stop the recording if there are no questions. Um,